Well, hey everybody, it's Sandy, and welcome back to my channel dedicated to helping you advocate for your own health, one topic at a time. So today I wanna to talk about a product. It's a reusable uh, face mask um, that is made out of a textile uh, that's designed to be somehow protective for the wearer. So not only filtering, in fact, better than an N95, but actually made out of a fabric that is engineered to be antimicrobial, so antibacterial and antiviral. Um, uh, the product is by Sonovia. It's called the Sono Mask. And this is a box from their products. This is a 10 pack of their masks, Sonovia. I'm going to put a link to the website below, which is Sonovia Tech, T E C H, SonoviaTech.com. So before I get started, I just want to say I haven't received anything from the company. I, I didn't. Um, I didn't get anything for free. I I actually just got interested in the technology. Uh, myself, I decided to explore it and learn a little bit, bit about it, and then I decided to go ahead and buy these masks, and um, after that I decided, you know, I should review it. So here I am. Yeah, it's a budding industry. Um, there's a couple of different manufacturers that I know of where they're impregnating textiles in one way or another with uh, either zinc or copper or something that makes it antimicrobial. Um, in this case, it's zinc. Sonovia uses uh, zinc particles. Um, so a little bit about my experience uh, talking to the company. First of all, they were like super helpful. Every question it seemed when they answered it, which was pretty quickly, it generated like two more questions. Um, they were always good about um, sending me links to published um, research. Uh, they would they sent me the results to the most recent uh, round of testing that was done in an independent lab in Austria. Um, and anytime I had a question that uh, you know somebody I was talking with couldn't answer, it always got moved along the chain to somebody who could. Um, they really were very transparent. I had a very good comfort level um, with this company. So after a little bit of work, I, you know, finding out what some of their numbers look like, I decided to go ahead and try it. So, so what are their claims? Well, first of all, uh, in the research that they did with an independent lab, they tell me that they um, looked at the antiviral and the antibacterial properties of this mask. And they determined that in with the bacteria testing that the masks were 99.9999% effective against bacteria, both gram-negative and gram-positive, and even after multiple washings. Um, as far as viruses, I asked them about the COVID-19 in particular. Of course, they told me, you know, you can't, they can't, in the private sector, study anything with COVID-19. Only governments can do that to even obtain the virus. Um, so they had have to choose a viral particle that they think acts similarly, that I guess has similar properties and qualities. And they chose the vaccinovirus, they said. I'll take their word for it, that it's similar. Um, and in that same independent testing at a lab in Austria, it came out to be 99.8877% um, effective against that particular virus that they tested. Um, in addition to that, the filtration, uh, let's use an N95 mask as the gold standard, an N95 being um, that it filters out 95% of particles, 5 microns and larger, and the Sonovia mask um, filters 98% of particles, 5 microns and larger. Now, large respiratory droplets, which is the main mode of transmission for viruses, um, are about 5 microns or larger. I'm not talking about the aerosolized particles, um, but most of it is large respiratory droplets. Um, which do um, fall ab above that level for filtration. Um, so I was pretty impressed with their data on this mask. It is washable up to 100 times. Um, one of the nice things about their um, engineered product, the way they impregnate the zinc, it's not a chemical process. Um, apparently, they use ultrasound in some way to do so. So it's not, um, first of all, you, you don't have the issues with the chemical process, like the environmental issues um, with the manufacturing. But in addition to that, it means that the nanoparticles are, are they're really part of the textile. They're not like a coating that's going to leach off or, you know, come off easily. And that's why you can go ahead and launder these either delicate in the machine or uh, by hand. Um, they're not cheap. A pack of three of these masks comes out to be about $50 a mask. If you can go in with a group of people, this is a 10 pack that I, I got. And for a 10 pack, it comes out to be a little under $35 a mask, which yeah, I didn't think it was that bad, um, given, you know, what what I'm saying. Um, they do offer free shipping, which is, I thought, pretty impressive. It's an Israeli company, so this product came from Israel. Um, I ordered it on a Wednesday, and it was at my door in the United States on Monday. 
So I thought that was pretty nice. Um, yeah, so anyway, let's get to my review, my thoughts. I'll put it on and show you. When you open up the box, the individual masks are packaged in plastic. Okay, so um, they're all sealed. Everything's real clean. Um, once you open that up, you have this nice, it, it's two layers. It feels like it's a cotton poly blend. Okay, it feels very lightweight. I can tell you it's not hot at all. It's very comfortable to wear. Um, I actually forgot I had it on for a while. I wore it out yesterday. I went outside and I came back in and I started just doing some stuff around the house. My husband walked in the room and he kind of laughed and I didn't know what he was laughing at. And then I realized, oh, I had the mask still on inside the house. So that's quite an endorsement. If we'd had something like this for the last 30 years of my working in operating rooms, it would have been a game changer. I can, I can tell you I never had anything quite that comfortable. Um, now, it doesn't have that wire piece that you have in surgical masks that helps you to mold it to around your nose. I don't think that's a problem, and I'm going to tell you there's a technique I use to, um, once I put it on my face, that I'm going to show you, and I think I would recommend it anyway, even if it had that moldable wire, so um, I don't really see that as a problem at all. Um, now, the bottom layer, I will say there's something really nice about the way it fits down at the bottom, where unlike a surgical mask, which sort of just sits in front of your face like a screen, this is meant to contour, and it kind of comes down along the underside of your chin, and I think that adds um, an extra barrier protection, which I really like. Um, so it does not have ear loops. It has head straps, which allows, I think, for a better positioning um, of the of the mask around your head. Um, uh, also, the ear loops make my ears sore after a while, so and they're, they're just kind of too loose. So when you have the head straps, what you do is you have to put them both around the top, right? So I start like this. It's very stretchy. Put it down under your chin and bring them both all the way around. I tuck my hair however I'm going to want it, and I recommend that you do like me and put your hair up if it's long. Then I take the top border, put it where I'm going to want it, along the bridge of my nose, and take the top band and put it wherever I want it so that it's going to sit how I like. It is extremely cool, extremely lightweight, easily the most comfortable mask I've ever had on my face, and that's saying a lot for working in operating rooms for over 30 years. Now, I did a video about a week ago showing a trick we use in the operating room so that your glasses don't fog up when you're wearing a mask, and it involves using a piece of one-inch paper tape just along the top border. I'm going to use that anyway with this mask, whether I'm wearing glasses or not, because you still have these little gaps right here. With any mask, you're going to have some gapping right here. You can feel how easily the air sucks in, and when you exhale, it goes that way, because this is the path of least resistance. It's like a little hole on each side. So I think one of the reasons to wear this mask is because it's affording me the benefit of some protection myself. And it seems to me that these gaps would be a good place for large respiratory droplets to fall, okay? So I don't want that. I want to be more protected. So you take a piece of one inch thick paper tape, one inch wide. Um, this is medical tape. It's very good for sensitive skin. It won't bother. It, it just doesn't bother you. I leave this stuff on all day. So you start at the nose right in the middle and you work toward the outside. So make sure you have enough slack so you can get that seal around the hollows of your nose and go from the inside out to the outside of your face and that's done. And then you don't touch it anymore, okay, until you're ready to take it off. You wash your hands first and then you take it off, okay? Yeah, I find it really comfortable. I, I can honestly say I, I just I don't even have to think about it. There's just I just haven't had a mask on my face that feels this comfortable. I could leave this on all day long. Um, I haven't laundered it yet. I'm going to go ahead and take it off. I'll show you how I do that. I haven't laundered it yet. Um, I don't anticipate having any issues with that, but if I do, I will add that in the description box below, and I'll let you know what my experience is like after maybe several washes. Um, I am going to plan to talk a little more about this um, there's another product with a, a different textile, but I think this is a really interesting budding industry that clearly has some application today um, that a lot of people are going to be interested in. So, yeah, I'll link them down below. I really recommend you check this one out, ask some questions. If you have questions for me, please put them in the description box. 
Um, if you haven't subscribed, I hope that you will. And if you have some suggestions or requests for uh, future content or other masks or other products at all, please let me know. And until next time, be well. Bye-bye.